everyone. Uh, today on Cannabis is Medicine, I'm going to be speaking about how CBD works for epilepsy. Welcome. My name is Bonnie Goldstein. I'm a cannabis uh, physician here in California. I've been a pediatrician since 1990 and worked in the field of critical care transport and pediatric emergency medicine. In 2008, after witnessing the benefits of cannabis in a friend who was quite ill, I became intrigued and I started seeing patients um, to approve them for cannabis medicine and have been doing this now for about 14 years. I'm involved uh, with some boards and member of the Americans for Safe Access Policy Advisory Committee, as well as a member of Society for Cannabis Clinicians. I also do some clinical advising uh, for some companies, as well as uh, my book, uh, Cannabis is Medicine is out. And you can check the links below to see um, where you can get that. So again, today I'm gonna to be talking about um, how CBD um, works as far as we know uh, to reduce uh, seizures. And so we have many known properties of CBD over the last uh, two or three decades, there's been a tremendous amount of research into CBD, as I'm sure you know. And so here's the list of properties that we have proof for. So anti-convulsive, anti-inflammatory, pain relief, antioxidant, uh, anxiety reliever, antipsychotic, neuroprotectant, antibacterial, promotes bone growth, reduces spasticity and muscle spasms, and also has effects on appetite for some people. For some people, it increases appetite, and for others, it decreases appetite. How does CBD have so many medicinal effects? Well, um, what we've discovered is that CBD has over 65 known targets, likely more, in the human brain and body. And here is a list of just some of what we know. So cannabinoid receptors are targeted by CBD, serotonin receptors, adenosine receptors, GABA receptors, glycine receptors, dopamine receptors, GPR55 receptors, GPR18 receptors, even opioid receptors are targeted by CBD. Uh, PPAR gamma receptors are targeted by CBD. In addition to receptors, ion channels, transporter proteins, and over 32 enzymes and counting are known to be a target of uh, CBD. And here is just a uh, nice uh, picture of, you can see CBD here in the middle and it's various targets by these arrows. And remember, um, there's different actions that CBD has on different targets. So for instance, the green arrow is an agonist. That means that CBD binds to that receptor and turns on that receptor. So action is turned on. Uh, here is an antagonist. So the red with the little um, block on the end. So what you can see is CBD um, targets that, but turns it down. And so there's different ways that CBD works. And this is good in the way that CBD can help people with let's say anxiety and pain, but sometimes it's very difficult to predict someone's response to CBD because it is targeting so many um, different places. And so uh, really until you try CBD, it's very hard to know how you react because your baseline chemistry uh, matters and how CBD interacts in any particular uh, one of these places is not going to be isolated. And remember that single molecule pharmaceuticals are really meant to target um, usually one target, whereas CBD target, it's a multitude of uh, targets in the, in the brain and body. And so that's very important. And some people call that multimodal, multiple sites of action, uh, diversity of molecular targets and signaling pathways, as you can see on the title here. Some people call it polypharmacy or polypharmaceutical, but understand that it is a multitude of targets when you are taking CBD, not just one. Now, how CBD works for epilepsy is not fully understood, but there are multiple sites of action that are thought to be specifically helping uh, patients with epilepsy. And so CBD is thought to calm the overexcited epileptic brain messages. Um, by reducing the neurotransmitters that tell the brain to overfire 
and by enhancing the neurotransmitters that tell the brain to be calm. So we up calming and we decrease excitation leading to an overall calming of the brain. And so what we know so far is that GPR-55 receptor, the TRPV1 receptor and adenosine receptors, we now have research to show that uh, CBD targets these sites to enhance um, that calming of the brain, uh, possibly uh, through GABA receptors and the inhibition of anandamide breakdown. These may be uh, how CBD might also help with epilepsy. However, these have not been uh, proven. And so if you're interested in reading uh, in detail, there's a very nice article that came out of the UK about two years ago by Gray and Wally, the proposed mechanisms of action of CBD. And I'm, uh, I'm sure that we will be seeing more information as this is a very active area of research. So we're gonna focus here on the GPR55 receptor. This receptor is still considered what we call an orphan receptor. What does that mean? An orphan receptor is one that we're not sure exactly what the, the um, key is for it. So remember receptors are like locks and all the locks have keys. So for instance, a serotonin receptor, its uh, key is serotonin. Dopamine receptor, its key is dopamine. So GPR55 receptor is thought to have uh, its key called LPI, uh, this very long named chemical. However, um, more research is needed to confirm this and also to see if there are other uh, possible keys or what we call ligands uh, for this receptor. Now, when LPI binds to the GPR55 uh, receptor, it appears to increase seizures by increasing the excitatory message. So we don't really want LPI to bind to these receptors, but apparently what happens in the brain that's having seizures LPI keeps triggering the GPR55, which keeps then kind of keeps the cycle of this excited brain going. CBD works to block the receptor. It works as what we call an antagonist. And by blocking the receptor, it doesn't allow the LPI then to, to bind to the receptor. So it blocks that action, thereby reducing seizure activity. And what's been described is that it reduces the neurotransmitter called glutamate, which is excitatory, and it enhances GABA, which is more calming. So again, increasing calm and reducing excitation so that the brain is not overfiring. Uh, it's also been noted that um, in the brain of uh, animals in what's called the area called the hippocampus, which is often a site where seizures are um, originating, that this area that in the brain that has been having seizures is observed to have extra GPR55 receptor. So we call that upregulation. So that system is really thought to be going and going very uh, sensitive um, and almost acting like a trigger in and of itself. So um, it's very interesting. And remember that when you're having seizures, um, the brain responds by changing some of those receptors in there. And that's how this ends up happening. Now here's a receptor called the TRPV1, also has a very long name, transient receptor potential cation channel subfamily V. Um, it's also called the capsaicin receptor or the vanilloid receptor. This receptor is widely expressed in the central nervous system. It's been shown that also these receptors are upregulated in, in um, uh, brains that have epilepsy. Uh, CBD binds to this receptor, and by binding to it, it desensitizes it, so it makes it less sensitive, and that results in a decrease of calcium flowing into the brain, uh, leading to these anti-convulsant effects. And then recent, uh, there was a recent study just a couple years ago that showed that CBD dose-dependently increased the seizure threshold in mice. So what, what does that mean? So the seizure threshold is kind of the line at which uh, seizures are more likely to happen. So what we want to not have seizures is a high seizure threshold, meaning that brain is more resistant to seizures. And so CBD increase 
the seizure threshold in these mice that were having uh, seizures. And the same study showed that if those mice were bred without this receptor, CBD didn't work as well. So that tells us CBD works through this receptor. And here's a graph so you can see this. So the numbers here to the left are, is basically the current needed to cause a seizure in the mice. And then you see across the bottom a vehicle, so basically the control, and then you see increasing doses of CBD, and then this last one is a benzodiazepine called um, uh, diazepam, so like a Valium type drug that can block seizures. And as you can see, uh, the black bars are uh, just wild type mice. And as you can see is as the CBD dose goes up, the seizure threshold goes up, the current needed to cause a seizure goes higher and higher, meaning the brain is more resistant to having that seizure. You can see in the mice that don't have the uh, TRPV1, this is TRPV1 uh, receptor knockout mice, meaning they were bred without this receptor, they don't have such a good response as you can see. So you can see the wild type mice that have these receptors are becoming very resistant to seizures with the high dose of CBD but the mice that don't have that receptor don't have such as good a response. And that tells us that this receptor is very important in reducing the seizures uh, by increasing the seizure threshold. And then the adenosine receptor. So adenosine is a chemical that we make that modulates brain excitation, inflammation, and also cardiovascular function. And adenosine makes us tired when it binds to the adenosine receptor. And so this is how caffeine works. Caffeine has a similar shape as um, adenosine. And here I'll show you a picture of that. So here's your adenosine receptor and adenosine binds. It's the key in the lock. But caffeine has a similar shape. And so when you have that morning cup of coffee or tea with caffeine in it, it goes in and it binds to that receptor and thereby it blocks the adenosine from binding and making you tired. The caffeine is blocking that tired effect. So that's how that works. And in terms of epilepsy, adenosine is known to be what we call an endogenous, so intermade anticonvulsant. Adenosine helps keep seizures down. And CBD inhibits seizures by augmenting adenosine. So what happens is CBD inhibits the uptake of adenosine, right? So it means that it allows the adenosine to last longer, thereby allowing the adenosine to have its own natural anticonvulsant effect, results in less excitation of the brain. So very interesting mechanism of action here. And then there's two other potential mechanisms, uh, GABA-A receptors. So there's some evidence that CBD enhances GABA, uh, which promotes, remember, the calming or inhibition of brain cell firing. So we think that this may be uh, one way. However, much more research is needed before we can claim that this is the mechanism or an additional mechanism by which CBD uh, blocks seizures or reduces seizures. Additionally, we know that CBD enhances your own natural endocannabinoid called anandamide. And anandamide is the compound that helps trigger the cannabinoid receptors to tell the brain to kind of turn off that neuro excitatory or over excitation message. And so again, uh, both of these I know are active areas of research and um, we may even find other mechanisms by which uh, CBD uh, blocks the uh, seizures uh, in patients with epilepsy. And so I uh, hope that summarizes and helps you to understand. And uh, here we'll go through one more time. CBD is an antagonist of the GPR55 receptor reducing excitation in the brain. CBD desensitizes the TRPV1 channels, increasing the seizure threshold, making the brain more resistant to seizures. CBD reduces adenosine uptake. And remember, adenosine is a natural anticonvulsant. This helps reduce overexcitation of the brain. CBD may work through enhancing GABA or blocking the breakdown of the nandamide, leading to less neuronal excitability. And as I mentioned, more research is needed, but current research clearly supports the use of CBD as an anti-seizure medication. Uh, please check out my other videos about 
uh, epilepsy and other uses of CBD and medical cannabis. I hope this was helpful for you to understand. And if you're interested in reading more, my book, Cannabis is Medicine, is available. Thanks so much. Have a great day.